Hi uh, guys, uh, this uh, video uh, which I'm uploading right away, uh, this video is going to talk about the charts, how you can actually, you know, uh, loop the charts and uh, so you can watch uh, my uh, other videos as well on the VBA. Uh, there are like around I think 20-25 videos on the VBA now so far and uh, there are many playlists available there. So if you want to watch, you can watch the Excel playlist. If you want to watch uh, uh, the playlist like VBA you can watch there and you can watch all those uh, videos which uh, you know are actually on the programming uh, so let me just uh, write it that's a playlist you go to my channel and click on my name and uh, find out this playlist wherever it is it must must be on the left side of your screen but then it again uh, you know depends upon the uh, desktop or you know the laptop whatever the settings you have so under that underneath uh, you have this option VBA videos so just click click there and uh, it will take you you know to all my uh, videos and you can watch them one by one and you can uh, definitely uh, you know enjoy you'll enjoy all those videos they are all very you know good videos so today what we exactly are going to do is we are going to run a loop uh, which is going to you know uh, give us all these chart names as you can see that I have these names chart 30 and this is a chart 27 uh, so every chart has a name and what I want to do is I want to prepare a code which can actually you know uh, give retrieve all the names uh, of you know what of all these charts which are available in my worksheet so let's start this and uh, this is how the loop uh, disco chart I have written a name you can name whatever you want to name uh, but name has to be something which you know it should be in sync with the code so this is how guys uh, I'm gonna name this uh, ch as a excel dot chart object and then now I'll quickly write the for each loop here uh, you will find a lot of videos on the for each on my VBA uh, you know video list and this is generally to use to uh, you know loop around uh, the collection words like for example for each worksheet in worksheet for each workbook in workbooks for each cell in range and similarly for each you know this chart in you know all the chart objects so active sheet dot chart object is actually the collection class which I'm gonna use and uh, so this is a very important line for each and next and the CH is a variable so active sheet dot chart object is there and uh, now what we can do is uh, we can retrieve the name of all these uh, charts you know available in the work uh, book and uh, so uh, let us just uh, write this code uh, this chart object is a you know class is a collection actually class so for each singular object in plural you know in a, in a collection is the way actually we write this for each loop right so now all the properties methods would be in the ch variable because i have declared it as a excel dot chart object and uh, so message box ch dot name would give me the chart names and uh, now let's go back to this excel alt q and uh, i'll go to the insert shapes and uh, create a shape oval shape and i'll assign this macro so while assigning this macro uh, as you can see loop chart is available but please remember that macros in says all open workbooks so it means that if you have a six seven workbooks open then it will you know show all the list of all the open workbooks so you might have a long list and if you select the personal xls then if you have a personal macro work workbook it will be recorded there and that's why it was not showing up there the macro which we just recorded right the sub so that's why it is very important sometime you know uh, all instead of showing it all open workbooks you may have a 50 60 uh, macro so it will be very difficult so you can rather you know choose this workbook option so that this loop chart you know is available and I have only recorded two macros add chart and loop underscore chart so that's what you know I'm saying when I say I've recorded I mean to say I've written you know the subs the subroutines the procedures the macros you know so that's how I have assigned it and now if I click it you see that I'm getting all the chart names one by one back to back right so that's how you know for each loop works and uh, this is how uh, on clicking this button I actually got all the you know chart names uh, in the form of message box so that's the way you can retrieve it you know and uh, so not only this you can even do a lot of stuff like you can run this loop and you if you want you can get these charts move or maybe you can get these charts you know deleted one by one if you're looking for some specific chart in your workbook maybe chart number 26 is you want to check whether it's there or not if it is there then you know you can delete it so what you can do is come back to this video uh, and write this uh, you know environment uh, right in uh, right in this environment if chart dot name equals to my chart 27 then you know chart 
should be deleted so ch dot delete you know that's the uh, exactly the method which we have taken from the chart object class right so since this is going to be my just one if and I'm going to write this in just one line so I really don't require and if right and let me just uh, I have commented out this uh, message box we don't need the message box now so I'll run this code and uh, I'll run this uh, you know F8 I'll press the F8 uh, or maybe I can put the break code and, and then run like this and uh, now you can see here that with the help of the F8 what is the first name of chart is 27 so it should be deleted because this is what exactly I'm getting so I'm gonna remove the space because the remove was not there alright so what happens it is not deleted uh, let me just rerun this again and let let's check what I have in ch dot name it's chart 27 uh, might be a issue with the C I guess uh, I think let's just give me a second let's just put it in this way so that we can adjust this window and we can see actually what exactly is going to happen so I'm just resizing this window and uh, so that you know you can see actually the action happening in the background when I'm running I'm going to run this code this is just for your ease for your clarity uh, so uh, it should go to the true and should delete the chart uh, it is not going actually it is going to the next it is not going to the then uh, I guess it's a uh, might be issue with the case uh, it's a case insensitive I guess the chart is C is a capital right it's in the upper case and I have uh, it is rotating all the charts one by one one two I'm getting all the charts but uh, it's not catching the chart 27 so yeah definitely it's an issue with that thing C so let's just remove the space and uh, uh, make this C you know in capital because that's the I think the issue so I'm gonna just rewrite this uh, right and uh, yeah so that's that's how you know now you can see that it has actually gone to the chart dot delete so there was chart space 27 so it has immediately you know uh, caught this uh, chart and uh, now it is going on the then condition so my chart is 27 and it has found in my excel sheet which is the active sheet so that's why it has immediately go you know went to the chart ch dot delete option and it is going to delete it now if i if i'll press f8 see what happened you see this chart is actually deleted you know so now it will go to the next chart and it will find the chart 30 which is obviously not my chart so it will go to the next it will not go to the then it, it is not going to delete any chart and this is how uh you know you will end up actually having this uh, for each loop which will actually you know can find all the charts for you and uh, you know can delete one by one so that's the my email ID guys for you in case if you have any concerns just write me in and if you're looking for uh, Excel training VBA training with the uh, you know everything uh, discussed in a detailed manner so that you can actually take your career to a new height write me in and uh, we can definitely talk on that and we can even start the training as per your ease but till then you know you can watch my all videos there are around like 90 videos so far and watch my all favorite playlists like arrays VBA videos and I've recently started a art of making dashboards a playlist you can even watch that right and there is a new series which I've launched on the go to what is a what if analysis just watch out for that as well and it will be a great great learning you know over there so thank you so much do subscribe to my video if you like the video just don't forget to click on the like and keep supporting me guys I'll come up with another video till then thank you so much have a wonderful day bye bye